Welcome back. And we go back to St. Vincent and the Grandins, where Gladys Quesadas, a correspondent, has the latest updates. Thank you, Ada, for the moment and the contact again here in from the south and also for Tell Us Your English. Yes, we stay here in the briefing room in the Argyle International Airport where all the international press is gathered and is reporting and informing about this gathering between Venezuela and Guyana. And as the two countries move forward in this attempt to dialogue, this attempt to go on a convened a meeting and also in an amicable solution, an equitable solution. We have to stress that this meeting was convened by CARICOM and SELAC. Those regional blocks were the main uh, architects behind this gathering and behind this meeting. And also because they have been willing to enhance peace, to enhance cooperation and to bolster uh, a solution before anything else and also uh, because for them it's paramount that this does not transcend in the region and does not spill out into the Caribbean. Also we know that uh, different authorities from the Caribbean uh, nations are here present attending the gathering and having this dialogue with uh, the president of Guyana, Irfan Ali, and the president of Venezuela, Nicolás Maduro Moros. Those are the prime minister of Dominica, Roosevelt Skerritt, who was one of the main conveners of this gathering. Also, the prime minister of Grenada, Deacon Mitchell, the prime minister of St. Lucia, Philip Joseph Pierre, who has been uh, insisting on the position of the Caribbean because those countries, both countries, are part of regional blocs and are part of the social and regional partners of all CARICOM and CELAC. So also we have the Prime Minister of Barbados, Mia Amor Motley, and the Prime Minister of Bahamas, Philip Edward Davis, and the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, Keith Rowley. Uh, other sources have been telling us and have been stressing that the Prime Minister of St. Kitt and Nevis will be attending the gathering and attending this uh, meeting between both presidents. Also, as we know, and let's recall and recap what is, has been going on in the morning time. We also know that both presidents are having their gatherings and their meetings with CARICOM leaders, as we were stressing. And the first one was Irfan Ali. He had uh, his moment to discuss his agenda and his uh, stance in this territorial dispute with the CARICOM leaders. And afterwards, they met with the president of Venezuela, Nicolás Maduro Moros, who is uh, presenting his agenda. And he has been insisting also the chancellor and the foreign affairs minister, Ivan Hill of Venezuela, they were insisting on this agenda that is open to cooperative advantages to dialogue, to find peace, to find solutions. And if you ask me, the alternative of all of this that has been uh, a premise is the peace. It's also to share uh, a future, and they have been both talking about the biodiversity of the, uh, this, the territory that is under dispute and how to preserve the, the identity of the place, the people of the place, how to treat them, and also to have a solution that moves forward uh, for both regions. That's the premise here, that's the ambience. As you can see behind me, there is a newsroom packed with journalists of all over the Caribbean region. We have colleges from St. Lucia, we have colleges from Barbados, and we have colleges from the TV stations, the public TV stations here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So this is one of the main coverages and this is one of the main regional events today. So we will have more details, we will have more uh, reports and updates and highlights regarding this meeting, this face-to-face -face meeting uh, between both presidents. I wanted to uh, remark also that this, uh, this meeting is an achievement for Venezuela. This is a historical achievement because by assisting, Guyana is admitting that the territorial dispute is not solved, that Venezuela has the right to uh, claim the territory or to claim a solution. And also Venezuela is uh, saying that uh, this is a victory because dialogue is prevailing conflict. So this is uh, one of the main guidelines, the main premises of today. And we will uh, keep uh, an eye on this and we will keep focusing on this and reporting for you. So back to you, Are, and back to Tell Us Our English. Thank you, Gladys Casada, for reporting for us from the from the Saint Vincent and Grenadines.